From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon, Happy Valley. I'm student meteorologist Laura Shedd here with your latest Penn State Campus Weather Service web forecast. To start, we're taking a live look at our Penn State golf courses. Currently, we are seeing relatively overcast skies. A couple of breaks in the clouds have been happening throughout the morning, and this is expected to continue throughout much of the afternoon. Temperatures, though, sitting right at 28 degrees, but a west-northwest wind at 9 miles per hour is making it feel like 20 degrees. But this is certainly much better than we have been seeing the past few days, as these winds have died down, and it is certainly feeling much warmer out there today. Current radar and satellite really isn't showing too much in the way of precipitation. We are seeing a couple of lake effect bands move in off of Lake Erie, which is being supported by those northwest winds, allowing them to move in off the lake. Here in State College, though, we've possibly a couple of flurries, but really nothing significant, and this is expected to continue throughout much of the rest of your Tuesday. Temperatures across the state, as I mentioned, 28 here in State College. Bradford, you are a cold spot at 18. Philadelphia, our warm spot at 38. Temperatures across the state, they're really following along that general trend in the upper teens to mid 30s. As we head out across the rest of the country though, the first thing your eye might draw to is this bright pink color across the Northern Plains. The good news for you though, is that these temperatures are not expected to move in to our region throughout much of the rest of the week. We're actually expecting a general warming trend as we head closer to the weekend, as we are expecting a system from the South to move in for your day on Saturday, which I'll get to in just a moment. But let's see how the weather is panning out for the next few days for the rest of your week here. As we head into early Wednesday morning, Good batch of clouds for the overnight on Wednesday as the clipper system is expected to move in early Wednesday morning, bringing the chance for a couple of snow showers for your Wednesday. Really though, nothing significant in the way of precipitation as most of it is expected to be across the state of New York and into the rest of New England. So really for here on Wednesday, a couple of snow showers are possible except across the north. But overall, we're gonna be seeing mostly overcast skies for Wednesday. The system is expected to move out early Thursday morning, leaving behind a couple of residual clouds. But these clouds again are expected to also move off, giving way to a relatively nice day for your Thursday. Now, as I mentioned, what the big story we are talking about this week is a system moving in from the south on Saturday. So let's see how this pans out in for your day on Saturday. Here's the system right off to our west early Saturday morning. As we move it in though, what we are expecting for a change is actually rain and not necessarily snow because the system, because it's coming in from the south, is bringing in much warmer air, which we are going to be seeing a gradual warming trend throughout the rest of this week. But behind this system, then we are expecting a relatively strong cold front, which will drop our temperatures for the start of next week. Also, the possibility of snow is not out of the question. Really won't be too much though. Much, much of the snow will be contained across the western part of the state. But as we continue on though, clouds are expected to break for your day on Sunday, but another batch of clouds is expected to move in for the day on Monday. So how does this all summarize up in the short range forecast for here in State College? Today, 31 degrees, much less windy than we have been experiencing. Winds generally five to 10 miles per hour coming out of the Northwest. As we head into your evening tonight, temperatures generally in the upper teens. A couple of snow showers are expected possibly late as that clipper system starts to move in, but that system will really move out throughout much of the day on Wednesday, leaving behind a couple of flurries for your morning, but overall, mostly cloudy skies and temperatures in the mid 30s. Now your seven day forecast for here in State College, again, as I mentioned, those snow showers on Wednesday, really nothing significant for that though, leading into a mostly cloudy, but overall relatively comfortable Thursday with a general warming trend. A Couple of AM snow showers are possible for Friday, but again, nothing significant, especially comparatively to your system on Saturday, which we are expecting to start as rain here in State College, possibly mixing in with some snow as the temperatures start to drop. But overall though, we are expecting temperatures to drop throughout much of the weekend, giving way to the return of sunshine on Sunday with much colder temperatures and overcast skies returning for your day on Monday.